Hello y'all. Welcome to part 9 of my Costa Rica German Monarchy Path playthrough in the Hearts of Iron for mod Kaiser Redux. In part 8 we secured our position in Central America once and for all and started a conflict with both of the nations known as Venezuela and Colombia. Colombia is still standing at this time but considering how this fight is going for them it's probably not going to be much longer if I had to say and the Germans want us to join their war we say no they're busy fighting the French and well in the last part of this playthrough I believe they had a big peace conference with the Russian Republic which was the Vilnius Accords I believe and it ended up having the Russians basically get their faction destroyed so didn't go too well for them and our war here is nearly over. Come on, get to Bogota, or just break through into their capital. Come on, they don't have enough troops to really stop us at this point. We're really taking on, well, just taking over their coastline in the west here in Colombia. We just gotta keep pushing from Venezuela and just putting on the pressure even more. Ethiopia declared war on Somalia, surround these divisions. Here there's a naval invasion. Bad deal for the Colombians, definitely. And Come on, take Pasto as well as Florencia, Florencia, whatever it's, however you say its name. Just take more cities, and we're going to surround the capital, it looks like. Let's do that now, actually. And that will just ensure it can't be reinforced at all anymore. And let's be as aggressive as we can, or no, we have no manpower. Speaking of which, all adults will serve. We need more people in the army. We need more soldiers overall. And, well, hopefully... This, what we have will be enough, but I mean, we have, how many soldiers in the field we have, manpower-wise? We have 150,000 in the field, and there's a war going on between Peru and Bolivia. Well, Ecuador, I mean. Yeah, Peru and Ecuador, not Bolivia. That's to the south, and that's just something that's going on on the border of Colombia as we're advancing here. Cut them off, come on. Take, say, the Taisha, La Saya, capture it, do it, go. And we should be done here very soon, I'm thinking. We have no steel, but it's all good. We have plenty of guns we got from defeating our neighbors. Well, originally Costa Rica's neighbors in Central America. We took over Guatemala, Nicaragua, El Salvador, Honduras, Panama. All of them fell to the Central American Reich and its leader, August Wilhelm I. And now we are aiming to finish off Colombia. Come on, they can't stand for much longer. Their soldiers are surrounded. They'll make a last stand. But that will be it. It has to be. And we're going to now move this division here, capture this city, make this encirclement, even more of an encirclement. And come on, they're just going to get stuck in their capital, aren't they? It seems like that will happen very soon. Just capture these provinces. Yes, because they're just, there's no one guarding them. We can just have free reign to do this. And the encirclement has become even more of an encirclement. These guys have a port at the very least. And there's some German divisions on the port of Kirakal, Kirakal. They're just not doing anything. I don't know why. They just kind of exist. They're just watching everything happen. And it's kind of annoying. Select a technology to research. Get advanced machine tools. And for doctrine, we're going to grand battle plan. Because why not? We have a cost reduction for it or something. We get entrenchment bonuses there. Not really relevant to helping us now. But why not do it anyway? Because... There's nothing to stop us, and there's no reason not to do it. Just take these provinces, come on. It's going to seem like the whole war is going to come down to like one pocket in Colombia's capital area in the central part of their nation soon. So keep attacking here. Come on, capture this port we lost earlier, I believe. We lost one of our divisions earlier in this playthrough. The Danish have arrived. Are they going to help us or no? Archaeological expedition to the San Andres site. Good. Interesting. So keep advancing here. Come on. Don't, don't don't forget about these divisions. You need to focus on them somewhat. Capture these provinces, yes. And keep trying to break through. They can't keep fighting forever. They definitely can't do that much at the very least. I need to get I'm done with divisions after this. Deal with the CKG is done. Now in the focus tree. What do we do? Do cultural growth, I guess. And it says here, reading through this very fast. Actually, no, let me cancel. Let me go ahead and do 
Industrial Development Scheme. It says, Logation Cities Join the Reichs Pact. It says, Inspired by the rapid industrialization of other American nations and the growing importance of raw industrial power, the government has announced the creation of Plan Limon, which will serve as the basis of our economic and, well, well, the basis of our economic development program, which will give us faster construction speed. Nice. And those divisions there that were encircled kind of got saved. That is unfortunate. Oh, well. Since the front lines have become sort of one and the same, let's just add the bulk of divisions here. Good. These guys are now going to become one main army primarily. So Army 1 and a greatly diminished Army 2 are going to just form up a big force and prepare to push into the last holdouts of Colombia's army here. And hopefully the Reich's Pack can send us some kind of military support. We have no more divisions we're going to grab. This is it. This is what all, this is what it's all going to come down to, really. And they're moving away from their capital. Why? They just are. I appreciate them doing that because that can make things easier for us. And let's attack now. Go. Go, go, go. Attack, please. You move. Attack their capital. Just take their capital. Whatever you do, get that. Thank you. If we can just take their capital, that will put an end to this fight, which seems so futile Futile at this point. Start making Thompson machine guns. And do we have any civilian factories? We have eight. So let me trade someone for some steel. German Empire, give me some steel, please. Kaiser Wilhelm II, I need that steel. They're busy fighting the French. Still, oh my goodness gracious, that's so many divisions on the border. That's always, the Western Front and Kaiser Redux during the Second Weltkrieg is always such a massive brawl. So many divisions involved from so many different countries usually. And keep attacking, go, go, move, use force attack, move along. We need to take this land. Let us please use, be aggressive here in these operations. Good. And what's this about? I think, what is this? The Polish People's Republic is justifying against Lithuania. Are they part of a faction? No. They're helping the French, the commune of France, though. Which, okay, but that's probably going to be a mistake to try and fight with Lithuania, considering how isolated they are and they have no allies. But if they want to do it, they can do it. And we're putting more pressure on Bogota now. I hope that's going to be it, though, if we take that city. And I think it will be. They've taken... We have almost 100,000 casualties. Colombia has 45,000. We're just really trying to push as much as we can to get a victory here. And if we can just take their capital, my goodness, take their capital, we can win this and have a victory for the Central American Reich. And they're holding out, oh my goodness gracious, so 90% of the green bubble, they have one division holding out. I just need that to be a little bit more. 91, yes, yes, can we use force attack at all? Can't, can I give this guy leader trait maybe, can that help? Give him infantry expert. Do that, sure. Does that help at all? Yes. 93, 94, 94, 94, 95. Oh, come on. So close. So close. 96, 97, 98. Two more. There we go. Our commander falls ill just as we win the battle there. My goodness, what timing is that? And let's now take all the states. Good. Done. So, at this point in the focus tree, cancel that industrial development scheme focus and complete this here revival of the Klein Venedig program it says with well, a Klein Venedig scheme we have finally secured German rule over the oil rich lands of Colombia and Venezuela shall we pay homage to the brave German explorers of the 16th century that created the first and only successful German colony in the New World declaring ourselves a continuation of the centuries old little Venice now is to this now is the time to decide at last and once this is done, we'll get an event called Revival of Klein Venedig. So that's going to be good. And we can just move our divisions wherever we please now. Let's just have the Costa Rican Coast Guard just move out and do something else. And it looks like the federal government just got defeated in the Second American Civil War. Move this division here to watch Mexico do that and have this division here watch the Western Indies Federation in say what is this called I guess Guana is that the word maybe just watch that territory please research slot available start doing improved imagery equipment too doesn't really matter what we do actually with that said 
Let's go here, and now the Empire of Brazil is going to fight the West Indies Federation. Let's actually start researching atomic research, because why not? It doesn't really matter. I think we're pretty much done with this playthrough. We're waiting for revival of the klein Venedig scheme to be done. I don't think we're going to have any more war goals. I'm just waiting to see this final focus. And, I mean, yeah, just an event we'll get from this final focus and our political part of the focus tree, and also keeping an eye on Mexico in case they want to start a war with us. So give it a little bit, a little bit more time. That would be fantastic here. And we have a few more days. A few more days we must wait. And our divisions are watching here still. 11 units there. And how big? Do we have full size now? Okay, yeah. 200, 10,000 soldiers in the field at this point. And the Deccan Federation is going to fight the Bartai Commune in the Indian subcontinent. That's going on. How is... How? Okay. So Brazil is... Do they not even border them? What are they going to do? They have just... Okay, guys. You need to defeat them somehow. I don't know how they're going to do it. They took over this province here. I get, yeah, they occupied that. But they can't do anything else because they're, they're not able to get around that piece of land controlled by the Dutch East Indies. So that's kind of awkward. For Brazil, actually no, they're part of the Entente, so they will try and go through that land controlled by the Dutch East Indies. And the Kingdom of Burma declared war on the Kingdom of Siam. That means now Siam is already in a faction. They're not in a faction. They're going to be fighting against the Reich's Pact, though, since Burma, the Kingdom of Burma, is in that. And come on, Revival of the Klein Venedig scheme is nearly done. A few more days. Just need a little bit more time. Five... Come on, five days, five days, four, four days, yes, almost done. And we're looking so strong right now, the Central American Reichs is, and we've come so far from Costa Rica and San Jose, we had to push and defeat, we had to fight many countries and defeat them. So here we are here, let me read this. So it says, the revival of Klein Venedig. Klein Venedig, also named Wazerland after the affluent noble trade family from Germany, that financed expedition was founded in 1528 under Charles V and represented the largest German colonial effort in the New World, extending along the coast of Venezuela with a small portion of Colombia and centered around the towns of New Augsburg and New Nuremberg. For 20 years, the colony stood strong, but its settlers eventually succumbed to disease, famine, and native attacks, causing the death of the colony by 1546. Now, nearly 400 years later, we stand at a crossroads, able to finally make this old colonial dream a successful reality. Should we adopt the identity of the old failed Klein Venedig or Rauserland, or should we maintain the identity of the Deutsch Central American identity we have already begun crafting? And let's choose to honor the Welser family, I guess, or no. I'm going to just pick one. I don't know, let's just pick one. I don't, they have different, let's just go with the new Klein, let's go with Wazar family, sure. And that is that, so we become new Wazarland, which is basically the, one of the three options we had there, I think. The new Klein Venedig path, I think for that, there is a different flag for that, but I just went with this one, the new Wazarland one. New Wazarland, that's essentially what it amounts to. And I think now, with all that, I'm going to end this playthrough here. This has been part nine and by extension the finale of my Costa Rica German monarchy path playthrough in the Hearts of Iron 4 mod Kaiser Redux. If you enjoyed the series thank you for watching and besides that if you enjoyed the mod itself make sure to check it out in the video description. The link to it is there. If you enjoyed this video in particular make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.